Hey, this is Mike from Helium Street, and um, hey, so the purpose of this video is to outline, outline four, possibly five different groups of video content. Um, each will be its own series dedicated to a specific type of miner and antenna installation. So stick around because we're gonna go we're gonna go do a brief outline of each install, um, and you're probably gonna see your application here. So stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the way we're organizing this is that we have the different series, right? We've got the blue, the red, the purple, the orange, and the yellow. Now, each one of those series is going to be different groups of videos that will outline all different aspects of that specific type of installation. So, for example, the blue series is what we're probably going to get start, started with here, but we're going to jump around back and forth between different groups because we're going to be doing a lot of different installations here. Uh, we've already done quite a few, and we're uh, kind of going back and catching um, some of the details from those different installations and and um, discussing them and highlighting certain aspects. So, uh, but for example, the Blue Series, you're going to see a number of different videos that are published just for that, and you're always going to see that blue triangle down in the uh, lower right-hand corner, um, and you'll also see... Uh, all the blue content, for example, all grouped in a playlist on the uh, Helium Street uh, YouTube channel. So you'll see it all grouped there. And you'll also always be able to come back to this video, the one you're watching right now, and look at the description section because we're going to keep updating that description section with all the different uh, titles uh, and links to the videos, for example, for all the blue and then all the red and then all the purple and the orange and, and the yellow. We have not talked about yellow a whole lot yet, but yellow is going to be the wild card series, whatever you guys want. Uh, if you guys have an application that you don't see represented here, um, hey, throw it in the comment section of this video and say, I'd like to see more about this or that. And we'll we'll start populating content in the yellow series with some of that wild wild card content that's a little bit maybe off the wall or maybe just just not well represented here, which is okay. It's really good because this is going to be a really interactive video for us. Uh, so you'll want to keep coming back to it, and I'll mention it now. But uh, you'll want to subscribe, and you're going to want to hit the bell icon, uh, and you're going to probably want to save the URL for this specific video somewhere on your desktop on your computer so you can go into it and check it frequently and check out the description section to see if any new video contents have been published. So a lot of different ways that you can get the material here. Uh, but let's go ahead and go get started and we'll talk about some of these different series, right? So let's talk about the blue series first. Um, okay, so this is just an, this is like an application for, for an outbuilding, right? You've got your main building, say your home, uh, and then you have an outbuilding, might be a detached garage or something like that. And you've got electric service in that outbuilding and you're powering your miner you're putting your antenna up on the roof um, coming off the back of the building with a antenna bracket uh, you've got your uh, coax coming down from your antenna into your miner uh, you're splitting off with a lightning arrestor you've got your ground coming from your mast and you uh, and then you've got your ground coming off your lightning arrestor off your coax bonded together and then getting into a proper uh, ground for the electric service. So this is just one of those basic applications, maybe not so basic in some cases. Uh, in this different variation here, uh, you'll see that we're running it with uh, Ethernet instead of going Wi-Fi. A little bit different, but that's great, right? It gives you an opportunity to do something different here. And we're going to talk about that. Actually, we're going to do a blue installation where we are doing exactly this. We're running Ethernet out of the gateway from the house and then coming out burying it, going back up into the, um, the that outbuilding, into the miner, and um, not using Wi-Fi. So um, in a lot of cases, that's that's a better way to go, but not always, right? Um, so yeah, and in this case, just, you know, we're looking at maybe different elevations of the miner. Sometimes we don't want that miner hotspot to be up in the attic, even in an outbuilding, uh, because it gets too hot. And so certain parts of the country certain parts of the country, you're going to need to be kind of aware of that. And so you may want to put your miner um, down on the main main level here, like in this application or this application. You might not want it way up high like this one. So 
Uh, just keep that in mind, and we'll talk about that during some of our installation videos. Um, so uh, talking about the red series, the red series is a, a kind of a simplistic, maybe like a ranch house. It's on the side of the house or the end of the house where your electric service is. Um, you know, there's a few different variations here too. Um, you've got a situation where you're running that miner up high where you can in certain parts of the country. In other cases, you're going to maybe want to run that miner down low, like here. Um, these both happen to be, um, you know, Wi-Fi um, supplied installations, uh, not using an Ethernet here, but certainly you can run the Ethernet like in this application. Um, and, and in all of these, we're going to we're going to highlight how we are pulling that ground off of the mast and then off of that lightning arrestor that's splitting off of the coax and then how that's bonded uh, and then it's going into um, the electrical service properly. Um, it might go to the ground rod for the electrical service, but it's not going down to a ground rod that's split off somewhere else that's not connected to the to the electric service. That's not that's against the rules. Uh, for NEC guidelines. So you, you just, hey, we're going to talk about it in the videos on the proper way to do these, these grounds. Um, so the next application is kind of a cool one. We're excited about this. Um, we've, we've got one in the works right now for it, so I don't have any video content to share with it. Uh, but we're, we're installing a, um, a pole or a tall mass. Uh, we've got a 30-footer going right now. Um, and we're mounting our antenna at, on the top of that 30, 30 foot um, pole. And we're putting a waterproof, dustproof enclosure on the pole. And we're running uh, that, in this case, this would be a Wi-Fi application. Um, pretty simplistic, right? I mean, you're getting it. You, you've got to have power out at the pole uh, for this type of situation. But you are uh, got to run that ground back to the electric service. We're going to show you how you do that. Um, other variations of this might be running it with Ethernet. Uh, that's a great way to go also, especially if your pole is um, maybe pretty far away. Um, but uh, yeah, this is definitely an option. Um, your, uh, your, your kind of your options here are endless, but we're gonna kind of hone in on very specific methods uh, so that people can kind of duplicate this. Um, and then the next application or the next installation series is um, not going to have a ton of detail right now because uh, it is fairly simplistic, but we're going to talk about it. And that's the apartment and the condominium application. Um, and a lot of folks want to get that antenna outside, and we'll talk about that. But basically, the apartment and the condo type application is you've got your antenna on the inside, looking through the window, looking out at 180 degrees, looking out. Hopefully, you've got some height. Maybe not, but that's okay. Look, you get 180 degrees looking out in a populated area. That's a really good good way to go. Um, now, other ways is obviously incorporating Ethernet into it. Uh, but where it gets tricky um, is where you've got a situation with the balcony. Uh, and a lot of folks want to put the antenna attached to the balcony on the baluster or the railing right out there. And um, to properly ground that, um, you would have to work with the ownership of your um, a condo apartment, all right? You'd have to work with them on it. You'd have to work with their facilities people to properly ground it. I can't really, or we can't here at Helium Street, really give you any strong advice on how to do it um, without having to tear into the equipment or the, the building at, at, uh, that's not in your ownership, right? And so uh, um, you'll have to be careful with this one, but I'm not saying it's not doable, um, you want to put that antenna up on the roof of your apartment. Well, you're going to have to talk to the apartment owner or the condo owner to arrange that, which is completely doable, potentially. Uh, but again, you'll have to make sure you're communicating well with them. So this one's a little bit tricky. I'm not saying it's not doable. I'm just saying that um, there's so many different variations of how you would do something like this uh, that you definitely want to make sure that you're communicating with the ownership um, uh, properly. Uh, the next, the next one is that yellow series that we talked about. Uh, yellow is um, yellow is whatever you want it to be. So if you have an application that you don't see very well represented here, put it in the comment section of this video, uh, and we'll make sure that we try to pull together information and support you with content related to your unique application. 
Okay, that's all I'm going to say about it because this is for you. Um, if you want something special, then uh, put it in the comment section and we'll see if we can put something together. Um, but, you know, all this together, all this, um, all this content, um, all kind of comes down to a couple of things. One is how to do it and what do you need to do it? What kind of materials do you need to accomplish that? Accomplish what you want to accomplish with these installations. Well, in, at HeliumStreet.com, we have... Uh, we have, a, we have a series of selections in HeliumStreet.com that are grouped by series. You've got a section for blue series, red series, purple series, orange series, and it's going to show all the parts and the pieces that you would need to purchase for that specific type of application. Um, so you can do that with a mobile or you can do that with desktop. For example, you go into the blue series, it's going to outline everything you need to, to get to be able to do an installation like that. Um, if you pick on the red selection in HeliumStreet.com, you're just going to open up a section of products here that you can purchase that uh, will support you with installing um, uh, an installation for the red series. So just know that that's all available to you. That's the uh, you know that that's where the, we see that um, this is going to be the bit, biggest benefit for our viewers because I think a lot of times. People just don't know what to get. They might be able to even look at this video and be able to put together a, a plan um, to do the installation themselves. If you're handy, you might not even need to see a lot of the content that we're going to put out uh, for these different series. Um, you might just be interested in the products that are needed for them. And this is what this is intended to do for you. Um, so if you, again, if you look at not only the playlists in HeliumStreet.com, but also if you look at um, the description section of this video, you'll see all the different videos that we have for each one of the series. Um, so, hey, I hope this was helpful for you. Again, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, uh, bookmark this video if you need to so you can keep coming back to it. Um, and we're hopeful that we can support you with your installation. So thanks for watching.